Uh, let's try the top. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. There we go. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode. Thank you all for tuning in. We have a beautiful, beautiful morning here along the Texas coast. We had a cool front this week, drop temperatures about 20, 30 degrees. All week has been just gorgeous, gorgeous week. Light wind, sunny skies. That fishing app said it was supposed to be today, but I think it's gonna be one of those days that we have to grind it out, but we'll keep doing that and see what we can find. Uh, let's try the top. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Wow. Is that a redfish? Oh, no, that's a trout. That's a good trout. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, first fish of the morning. We just started throwing that top water. Been a few casts. We ended up getting this trout 21 and a quarter on the top water. First few spots didn't really pan out. Got one good trout, but it kind of died down after that. This place is loaded with kayakers too. There's probably about six, seven, maybe even eight kayakers all in one area. So we'll kind of get away from that and hopefully we can find a spot that's holding some fish. So I really want to fish around these piers. Usually hold some fish, but I think I'm going to skip this for now and make my way down there, have the sun at her back, drift back this way. Maybe we can sight cast a few redfish or Grab this and fish a little bit deeper water. There's not much here. There's not much of anything here. <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of mullet on the shoreline. I'm seeing a few jumping here and there. Maybe about, I don't know, 70 yards off the shoreline. So we'll probably just go a little bit deeper. Oh, oh there it goes. Got him. Feels like a trout. Staying down. What are you doing? Oh yeah, it's a good trout. Oh, he's going under. He's going under. Oh. All right. Oh, that's a big one. Come on. Oh, there we go. Woo! He has a big head and he's long. There you go, 22 inch trout on the popping court. Came across to the other shoreline and saw a few mullet, maybe about 50, 60 yards off the shoreline. Decided to make a few casts in there. Didn't really see anything right on the shoreline, so this guy was in there on the voodoo shirt on the popping court. Come on. There he goes. real real shallow and hoping to find some redfish or drum or something to sight cast but I didn't see anything not even a single bait fish so 
So right now they're just in a little bit deeper water. Just got to look for the mullet, just a few mullet that are jumping and maybe make a few casts in there. Hopefully find a trout or two. Yeah, that wind's kicking up right now. It's supposed to get, supposed to get windier. I think by this weekend, by Sunday, it's supposed to be 20, 30 mile an hour wind. So trying to get a little fishing in before. Oh, uh, went down. <sighs> Come on. Something hit it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shoot. Went down again. Yeah, I think I'm going to babysit this shoreline. Already caught one trout and caught a small dink. There's a lot more action than I was getting anywhere else, so I think I'm just going to stay here and just kind of fish this a little thoroughly. Hopefully we can get another one. There it is. All right. Looks like a trout, not a big one, but let's see, maybe a keeper. Uh, no. Definitely not a keeper. Nah. 15 and a half. Would have been a keeper two years ago. Another one, another trout. I don't know, maybe a keeper. Maybe a keeper. Maybe our limit. Oh no, the net's stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This guy, that is not a keeper. Let this guy go. There he goes. It'd be nice if we can catch a big red. Got some big ones here in this area off the poppy court. Oh, there it is. Mm, it was a little bit better. Oh, shoot, that dude came off. Oh, there it is again. Oh, there it is. That's a better hook set. Oh, yeah. That one has to be a... <laughs> what the hell? What's up with that dude? Oh, that one is a keeper. There we go. This side, guy. Oh, yeah. This way. Oh. He inhaled that lure. Oh, there we go. That's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, this dude inhaled it. Let's check it out. All right. 21. And a quarter. This guy's thick, 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 thick. A lot of meat on this one. Not taking anything today. Just finding the mullet. Seeing them on the surface, using my side scan. I'm just casting into those areas and those trout are in. There we go. Boom. That is a limit, that's three keepers. I'm gonna keep on fishing, we still got some time. It's about 11 o'clock. There it is, oh, it went down again. Yeah, you can see we're starting to get onto some fish. Oh, there it is. Oh, right there, right at the kayak. There we go, not a big one. That's a dinker. Man, that bite's really turning on right now. A little dinky. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> That's a trout right there. Feel that head shake. That bite just turned on. Might be another keeper. Oh, flip. Oh, no. Felt like he was a little bit bigger. Oh, there you go. 
I mean, this place was loaded with kayakers earlier this morning. They're all gone, but that bite is getting good right now. Oh, there it is. Wasn't even looking. That's another one. That's another keeper. Oh, no. I don't think that one is. 14 and a half. Started off real slow at first. I just uh, ended up finding the fish, ended up finding the trout. Got on a little bite, got our limit. So, can't complain. <laughs>